delving deeper into teaching number six in our study of the book of Revelation. They are going to kill you. They're going to kill you because you believe in Jesus. And that's exactly what the disciples of Jesus were faced with in Smyrna. Let's revisit that letter, the martyrdom of Polycarp. And I'm going to read it to you, okay? The crowd collected wood and bundles of sticks from the shops and the public baths, and the Jews, as usual, were keen to help. And when the pile was ready, Polycarp took off his outer clothing, undid his belt, and tried to take off his sandals, something that he was not used to. As the faithful always raced to do it for him, each wanting to be the one to touch his skin, this is how good his life was. But when they went to fix him with nails, he said, leave me as I am, for he that gives me strength to endure the fire will enable me not to struggle with without the help of your nails. And so they simply bound him with his hands behind him, like a distinguished ram chosen for from a great flock for sacrifice, ready to be an acceptable burnt offering to God. And he looked up to heaven and he said, O Lord God Almighty, the Father of your beloved and blessed Son, Jesus Christ, by whom we receive the knowledge of you, of God." of you, the gods of angels, powers, and every creature, and all of the righteous who live before you. I give you thanks that you count me worthy to be numbered among your martyrs, sharing the cup of Christ and the resurrection to eternal life, both of soul and body, through the immortality of the Holy Spirit. May I be received this day as an acceptable sacrifice, as you, the true God, revealed to me and now fulfilled. I praise you for all these things. I bless you and glorify you along with the everlasting Jesus Christ, your beloved Son. To you, with him, through the Holy Spirit, be glory both now and forever. Amen. Now, when I, I read this for the first time, it made me question my fidelity to Christ. Am I so confident of his promises that I would willingly go to my death for the sake of the kingdom? Well, may the Holy Spirit gives us, give us the strength that we need to stand in our end times.